Hello, this is Sophman Trifo Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I want to introduce everyone to a way that they can clean up their meshes in Blender fairly easily using the uh, B mesh add on. Now, sometimes when you import, especially when you import uh, other models from other sites into Blender, uh, sometimes the models have too many vertices or it imports double vertices. And it's sometimes a pain to clean up. I don't know if Blender even has a uh, setting in it that you can use to uh, fix this, but um, the BMesh add-on does a great job. And I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video. Once again, it's uh, an add-on you'd have to pay for, but uh, like I always say, for the price, it's not that bad. And the installation is still the same. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install. Uh, navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system. Once you found it, click on it. Click on install add-on. I've already done that myself. And let me type in bmesh. And there it is. Just put a check in the box. And I'm using Blender 2. Uh, let me see. This is 2.81. And I think the they've updated it to work in 3.0 and above. But I'm using 2.81. And it's just fairly simple, fairly easy, fairly straightforward. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that it doesn't do a perfect job, but it does a great job. And for myself, I, I just use the presets uh, for the most part. But I've uh, imported this app, this uh, model into Blender as a house. It's got exterior and interior also. And we're going to check out the walls first. Let's click on tab, have the wall selected. You can see that the wall isn't like a perfect flat surface. It's got uh, a lot of vertices that shouldn't be there. If this was made in Blender, it would be a lot cleaner, but since it's not, it's not that clean. Uh, but we're gonna just press, you can have, you can do this in edit mode or not, it doesn't really matter, but as long as the, uh, the model is selected, it's fine. So we're gonna look at it like this, and B-Mesh is over in your two pounds, so we're gonna click on the drop down arrow. You've got a lot of settings here to delete loose parts, move doubles, subdivision type, Lemon it dissolve, make normals. But if you don't want to deal with any of this stuff, just click on preset tool. And from this drop down menu, you have two options, or actually three default, import clean, and blender default. And I usually use these two, they usually come up with uh, the best results. So I'm going to click on blender default, and I'm going to click on apply selected. And it's going to let you know the number of vertices and edges and faces that have been deleted. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it's doing. And already, it's uh, done a pretty good job. It's deleted. It hasn't done a great job, like I said before, but on this wall, you can still see some vertices that still are kind of a little bit out, out of whack a little bit. Uh, with this side, it's pretty much not too bad. And this side's a little bit cleaner. So for the most part, it's done a pretty good job, or as best it, it can do for the uh, outside of it. Let's uh, try out the roof. Let's look see what the roof looks like. Click on that. Tab in edit mode. And it's got a lot of extra vertices that are just not necessary. Once again, we're gonna, we're gonna, let's choose a different default uh, preset. I mean, let's click on that and cl click on import clean and apply selected. And it's deleted seven vertices, 262 edges and 255 faces. Let's click okay. And it's done a pretty good job with this one, though. It's really cleaned it up quite a bit. It's got clean lines and clean edges. So that was a really perfect job that it did with the roof. So like I said before, sometimes it does a good job with some of the uh, uh, models. Sometimes it doesn't. But to really test, let's zoom in and look at all the uh, other aspects of our model here, the furniture. Uh, this is a little bit more complex. Let's click on this, let's zoom in, let's left click on our hand gizmo, scroll up on our mouse wheel and pivot with our middle mouse button. And going to, to edit mode by pressing tab. And it's got a lot of vertices that are kind of off. And you can actually, you can if you want to, just do each. If you have a model where you can separate parts of it, you can do it like piece by piece in terms of fixing it and cleaning up the vertices. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as it is. We're going to click on, let me see, Blender Default, and apply to Selected. 
and it's deleted quite a few various season edges and faces and it looks a lot cleaner it looks much cleaner actually so on this, it did a really good job, really good job of uh, cleaning up the vertices and all the extra faces and uh, doubles and things like that. So yeah, this is how the add-on works. So like I said before, on some models, it works great, and some models, not so much. Uh, but you can tweak it with the settings here, the subdivision types, uh, limited dissolve, and the normal normals constant well, I don't even know what that even means that's a that's a pretty unique word there but for the most part like I said before I just use the presets which would be the default import clean and blender default and it uh, it does a decent job on some autos not so much in others but yeah this is the uh, be mesh clean add-on uh, today's quick tip helps clean up uh, models and blender and I hope this was helpful for those of you who have been watching the video. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.